This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN. Technology, news, and information. All in one place. What does Nashville, Next Generation 911, and Dr. Phil all have in common? Find out next on this episode of the E911 Talk Podcast, Episode 110. Recorded on Saturday, September 20th, 2012. Welcome to this edition of E911 Talk with your host, Mark Fletcher, Pilot Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. Now, here's Fletch. The state of Tennessee is popular for many things and has a wonderful history contributing to many forms of American popular music, from rockabilly to blues, and artists like Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Charlie Rich. It also has part of its history, some numbers. Certainly one of the most popular is Old Number 7, made famous by the Jack Daniels Distillery in Lynchburg. That is touted to be one of the best-selling whiskeys in the world, and the best-tasting one, or at least that's what I've been told. But there's another number of great significance that's also at the top of the list for the Tennessee Emergency Communications Board, or TECB. Of course, that number is 911. Randy Porter, the chairman of that board, and Lynn Questell, serving as his executive director, have been doing quite a bit of work over the past few years, building the infrastructure that is making Tennessee one of the first next generation emergency services IP networks, or ESINETs, in operation. Starting back in 2011, the TECB worked with AT&T to build out a statewide ESINET, providing connectivity to PSAPs using NENA I3 standards. While examining the fees that the state was incurring for Alley database services, the TECB decided that it was no longer financially feasible to, quote, continue paying these fees to an outside agency to manage and access their own data, close quote. Now, additionally, the TECB will make the Alley database services available to the public safety agencies who need that data, as well as to enterprises who can populate the data and provide that at no charge to the users. Now, although Ms. Questel is extremely humble, I've got to give her a lot of credit for grabbing the bull by the horns and rightfully claiming ownership of what is hers in the first place. That shows a great initiative to be solving the problem and should be a model for other states to take notice when crafting their next generation 911 networks. Now, in addition to guiding the state of Tennessee along their path to next generation 911, the TECB also supports customer education to the general public and to MLTS PBX administrators. In fact, in their last quarterly meeting, it was identified that MLTS PBX administrators needed much more information and guidance from the state. And that's why Ms. Questel and her assistant, Andy Spears, attended last week's TNN AUG user group meeting in Nashville, which was graciously hosted by Level 3 and Avaya. Now in the Nashville Metro 911 Center, when they have a problem with the system, the person they reach out to is Dr. Phil. Not the Dr. Phil from TV fame, but Phil Neal, who manages the telecommunications gear in their 16 position PSAP that services Nashville Metro. Dr. Phil, as he's affectionately known, is also the president of the TNN AUG and brought to this meeting answers to many of the users' questions from his side of the table, the 911 Center itself. All in all, I think the day was very informative for the users who attended. They got to hear from a very progressive emergency communications board director. I presented the Avaya strategy and vision for next generation 911. And we finished with a great discussion on policies, procedures, and the special circumstances that always seem to exist when you get a large group together in one room to talk about a common subject. So thanks again to Lynn Questel and Andy Spears from the Tennessee Emergency Communications Board for providing a great overview of where Tennessee is going with their next generation 911 program and how enterprise administrators can tag along on that ride. Thanks to Level 3 for providing a beautiful meeting facility. And of course, Dr. Phil from Nashville Metro 911 for coordinating the meeting and making sure folks actually showed up. And a special thanks goes out to Carrie Bush and Ken Cook from Avaya for providing some good old-fashioned Tennessee barbecue for this old Yankee boy. But most of all, I want to thank the users who took the time to get out in Nashville and hopefully went away with some new knowledge, 
some new ideas, and some new ambitions to develop a sensible E911 solution in their enterprise that'll be ready for the Tennessee Emergency Services IP network and next generation 911. For all the latest on E911 and Avaya, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Fletch911. And don't forget coming up this week on Wednesday, October 24th, I'll be a panelist at the FCC on a special workshop for indoor location accuracy improvements. The panel I'm in starts at 1 p.m. Eastern and can be viewed live on the web at FCC.gov forward slash live. Be sure to catch this important session as I'm joined by colleagues in the industry, such as Tim Kenyon, president of Conveyance Systems, for this informative session on new technology. You've been listening to the E911 Talk Podcast with your host, Mark Fletcher, Product Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. E911 Talk is a weekly podcast available on sites like this, as well as iTunes, and is available free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, you can email Fletch at FletcherM at Avaya.com. That's Fletcher, the letter M, at Avaya.com. Be sure to listen in next week for more informative topics on E911. 911, the line is recorded. What is the exact location of your emergency? This is the Avaya Podcast Network, APN.